Now, here's where it gets really interesting that apparently there is this phenomenon between transplanting the liver and the recipient of that transplanted liver acquiring a variety of allergy and asthma symptoms. Now, this has been mostly reported to occur in children, but here we have a case report of an adult and there have been others. And I wanted to highlight this because in this particular situation, we see that the donor, and I'll read the highlighted portion, the donor was a 20-year-old female who presented with severe shortness of breath due to a presumed asthma attack. Now, that's quite interesting because asthma and food allergies are related, at least in some cases, according to the mainstream medical authorities. And I'll read further. Medical history was notable for atopy and allergies to peanuts, chocolate, eggs, wheat, and shellfish. So we have here that the donor whose liver it was, who, you know, must have died and donated their liver to this recipient, they had food allergies. The recipient did not have food allergies, but after they received the transplanted liver, they developed food allergies. Isn't that quite interesting?